Hundreds of students are participating in summer schools throughout New Providence. But as Carla Parma tells us tonight, for one group in the public school system, it's not by choice. While the summer school program in the public education system has been instituted for some 17 years now, it was reportedly not made mandatory until three years ago when the new Bahamas National High School Diploma was implemented. The new requirements make it mandatory that students graduate with a two-point average or above. Principal of Doris Johnson Senior High School, James Clark, says failing students must attend. We start to intensify. Reason being, uh, we have so many students was uh, so close, but yet so far, and also too, their GPA was so close uh, to a two point. Uh, and so what we did is that uh, we went through the lesson grade 10 and 11 and placed them in summer school. Of the 847 students enrolled at the school, Principal Clark says more than 150 students were made to attend this year's summer school, with the majority of them coming from grade 10. Over the Christmas, 51% of the students made over two point, but now that's recently 41% of the students, so they drop. And that's why we have a large number of students in summer school at this time for grade 10. According to Clark, math and language are the only two subjects being taught during summer school. He says these key subjects are the focus, as the majority of students find these areas extremely challenging. We have a lot of students who fail maths in the BGSA and BGCSA. So uh, a lot of them have to really do summer school to go ahead and, and try to improve because they get a high school diploma, you need to have English language and mathematics. Whether you have over two point or a mark, if you don't have language or maths, you cannot get a high school diploma. What about the teachers? Are they volunteer teachers? The teachers, uh, they are subsidized with a small stipend from the, from the government just to teach summer school. But they want to help the kids, that's why they do it. Because the money is not that big. But they just want to come back and just put something back into the system. The four-week summer school program began immediately when school closed and will run for a month, ending on July 27th. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.